Hello, and welcome to, Today in History, I'm your host, Abdalman El Dara, and I'm excited to take you on a journey through some of the most significant historical events that occurred on this day in history, so let's jump right in. On June 21, 1788, the United States Constitution was ratified by New Hampshire, becoming the ninth state to do so and reaching the required minimum of nine states for the Constitution to take effect. On June 21, 1791, King Louis XVI of France and his family attempted to flee Paris during the French Revolution but were captured at Varennes. Their unsuccessful escape further fueled the growing discontent among the French population and ultimately contributed to the downfall of the monarchy. On this day, June 21, 1813, the Battle of Vitoria occurred, breaking Napoleon's power in Spain during the Peninsular War. The decisive victory by the Seventh Coalition, led by Wellington, weakened the French forces and marked a turning point in the conflict. On June 21, 1834, Cyrus McCormick patented the first practical mechanical reaper, revolutionizing agriculture and greatly increasing the efficiency of harvesting crops. On June 21, 1893, the first Ferris wheel, invented by George Washington Gale Ferris, Jr., debuted at the World's Columbian Exposition in Chicago, captivating visitors with its towering presence and panoramic views. On June 21, 1919, Admiral Ludwig von Reuter scuttled the German fleet at Scapa Flow in Scotland to prevent it from falling into the hands of the Allies after World War I. On June 21, 1945, United States troops successfully took control of the Japanese island of Okinawa after a prolonged and intense battle. The Battle of Okinawa was a significant campaign during World War II and marked a crucial step towards the eventual Allied victory in the Pacific. On June 21, 1948, the Deutsche Mark was introduced as the official currency in West Germany, marking a key step in the country's economic recovery after World War II. On June 21, 1963, Pope Paul VI, formerly known as Cardinal Giovanni Battista Montini, was elected as the head of the Catholic Church. He succeeded Pope John Xi and served as the Supreme Pontiff until his death in 1978. Pope Paul VI played a key role in the implementation of reforms within the Catholic Church and in fostering interfaith dialogue. On June 21, 1964, civil rights activists James Cheney, Andrew Goodman, and Michael Schwerner were murdered by members of the Ku Klux Klan in Neshoba County, Mississippi, during the Freedom Summer Campaign. On June 21, 1982, Princess Diana, the wife of Prince Charles, gave birth to her first child, Prince William. As the eldest son of Prince Charles, William is second in line to the throne of England. Prince William's birth was met with great joy and excitement, as he represented a new generation of the British royal family. On June 21, 2001, General Purvis Musharraf seized power as the military ruler of Pakistan in a bloodless coup. He overthrew the elected government of Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif and assumed the role of chief executive. Musharraf's tenure as the leader of Pakistan was marked by political and social challenges, including tensions with neighboring India and efforts to combat domestic terrorism. On June 21, 2004, Spaceship One, a privately funded spacecraft, became the first privately developed vehicle to reach the edge of space and safely return. On June 21, 2009, Greenland, an autonomous territory within the Kingdom of Denmark, was granted increased control over its law enforcement, judicial affairs, and natural resources. This decision, known as self-rule, granted Greenland more autonomy in governing its internal affairs while still remaining part of the Danish realm. It was a significant milestone in Greenland's journey towards greater self-determination. That's it for today's episode of Today in History. I hope you enjoyed learning about these significant events that took place on this day throughout history. Join me again tomorrow for another exciting episode. Thanks for watching.